As Arthur C. Clarke said, the only way to find the limits of the possible is to go beyond them into the impossible. The world as most people are going to live it is so tightly defined, is so limited by their narrow perspective that they're never able to shake out of that, to really shape something and build the world, not as it is, but the way that they want to see it. They're allowing themselves to be hemmed in by what they see other people doing, by the bricks that have been laid before them. But it really is our ability as a species to adapt and to go somewhere new that defines us. And so focusing our attention on getting beyond that is a critical thing. And as Socrates himself said, the secret to change is to focus not on fighting the old, but on building the new. To put all of your energy into creating something new, not to resist what's come before you. And that's where so many people spend their time. There is so much comfort in what's come before. There is so much safety in the bricks that people have laid before you that you're unable to see that if you're willing to step beyond that, if you're willing to define something for yourself, if you're willing to learn, if you're willing to challenge your own assumptions, if you're willing to challenge the things that you believe, if you're willing to push beyond the comforts that an entirely new world awaits you. And we live in this radically new environment where information is available to us all, where with the click of a mouse, with a couple moments of surfing that you can encounter a vast universe of ideology that is totally foreign to you, that is totally new to you, that are going to become the things with which you build something new. They're going to be the things that allow you to create a universe that up until this moment simply has not existed. But how many people do that? How many people really take the time to educate themselves? to shake off the yoke of everything that's come before and have the guts and the courage to dive into ideology that runs counter to them, that shakes up their entire belief system, that forces them to question everything. But in that questioning, in not fighting everything that's come before and instead imagining an entirely new world, we can literally build that world. Socrates has another quote. Employ your time in improving yourself by other men's writing so that you shall gain easily what others have labored hard for. That's the world you live in. That's the era that is now. This transition that's happened from the time that we had the printing press until the internet came along and until right now today where we live in a world where people are trying to put so much information out there all you have to do is be willing to look beyond the safe confines of the world that you've constructed for you the world that your parents handed to you the world that society tells you is the way that it is was and always will be once you can look beyond that once you can get to understanding that you you can control the fabric of your world by altering your belief systems, by reaching out and looking at what other people have given their lives to obtain that information, to take it in, to not be beholden to dogma, but instead be willing to accept that ideas are not only tools, they're weapons. And they're things that you can use to terraform, to change your own mind. And once you've changed your mind, then you can change the world.